Okay, so your supervisor's received the method statement now via email and we're assuming that they've gone out to complete this job in line with those requirements. During the job there may be a point where there's a change to the design or the method statement that we sent through. Any details of changes um, to both design and method statement need to be recorded within the system. So there's a tab here called changes to design. Record any changes here You've got the option there to say if they've been notified or not and the date approval was received from the provider. So we're saying as part of this system and as part of PAS 2030 the provider needs to approve any changes to what was in the original design. So for example if a, a boiler is relocated from a kitchen to a loft that would need to be detailed here and a date of approval and person approved by saved in the system. More often than not there's not going to be any changes to design but just so you're aware, this section is here to record that information. OK, so saying that the job's been complete in line with this method statement, we're now into the handover part of the job, which is the final phase. As you can see, clicking into this tab, there's some specific handover requirements for your operative to undertake in relation to, in this case, the EWI and the loft insulation. We've got these written in for all measures, so anything you select at the start of the job, you'll have the handover requirements listed here. OK, so we're assuming that the operative's undertaken the handover and we need to record details of what happened within the system. So I'm going to say that the installation was complete on the 27th and it was completed by Bob Jones. I'm going to say it was commissioned on the 27th as well by myself as the supervisor on this job. There's space here for any commissioning information such as measurements you've taken on a system, certificates that you've issued such as a benchmark certificate for a condensing boiler. Uh, in this case, for the installation, I'm going to say that there weren't any specific measurements taken. You also need to record details of any building regs notification. So, in this case, EWI falls under building regulations, so I'm going to say that was notified on the 27th, and we've got a certificate for that notification. In some cases, the handover may be undertaken by the provider, so you've got the option here to click this box, which indicates that the provider's undertaken the handover most cases I would expect that providers will ask the installation businesses to undertake the handover in line with their requirements. Moving on from this, we need to record details of any warranties and guarantees left with the customer. So I'm saying here standard manufacturer's guarantee and our own two-year warranty was left. If the provider has any specific handover instructions that they want an installer to undertake, that can be recorded here as well. Uh, again, I'm saying that there weren't any in this case, so recorded a, a non-applicable. You've got a tick box here to say if a demonstration was undertaken. If it's something like a, a boiler where you've got controls, I would expect a demonstration to be undertaken. In this case, for the insulation, maybe not. I'll leave this box blank. Then we're on to recording what documentation was left. Again, if it's something like a, a system of controls, maybe there's an instruction manual that's been left there. In this case, I'm saying that some warranty documents and details of maintenance were left with the customer. Finally, we need to record the actual handover date of the measures to the customer. And again, I'm saying that was all done on the same day on the 27th. There's a couple of documents we need to complete in order to finally complete the job. One is the declaration. Now, this is a, a standardized template within the system that you can choose at the end of every job. What you need to do with this is to print it off and leave a copy with the customer. The other document we've got here is the sign-off sheet. Again, this is a standard template within the system. You click the button and it will load up this template. What you need to do is print this off, have it signed by the supervisor who commissioned the job, record details of any documentation left and then have a counter sign off by the customer to say that the job's complete and they're happy with what's been done. <clears throat> Again, you've got this option to upload documents here, so upload the completed sign off sheet and then that's it, you've completed a job from start to finish and you're ready for your Green Deal assessment. When you click the complete job button, this will fire off an email to your chosen provider uh, that will contain details of the handover you've undertaken and also a copy of the sign-off sheet for them to process the job.